What is going on everybody? My name is Ian and welcome to IR Sculpts. And today I'm going to show you how you could take your ZBrush model with PolyPaint and easily import it into Blender without using any type of plugin whatsoever. Let's do this. Okay guys, so today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to bring over the PolyPaint that you see here on my model and move it over into Blender. As it stands right now on November 13th of 2020, ZBrush has a version 2021.1.2 that doesn't really allow your poly paint from your ZBrush model to move over into Blender easily. Uh, with uses of Go B or the FBX method, it's actually failing. And there's really no reason why at this moment. I'm assuming it just might be a bug of some sort. But we're going to go ahead and show you how you can actually import your poly paint a lot easier. And it's going to be using UV maps and texture maps. If you're familiar with those already, then you probably know where I'm going to go with this. Okay, so over here in Blender, you can see I imported my head, and as you saw in my ZBrush file, I actually had color on the eyes. So I usually fill with the base color, and then I paint on top of it. And if you go into your shading map, or your shading tab over here in Blender, and you notice in the node tabs, you bring in your attribute, and you type in COL down at the bottom, and plug it into your base color, for some reason, it's not bringing over the poly paint. But this is the method that everybody was relying on to do this. Now I've tested this with GOB and I've tested this with FBX and for some reason it's just not working. So now I'm going to show you on how you can do that. Okay, so now that you see that I have the head, we're going to go ahead and create the UV maps. And again, I just want to iterate that this is kind of a down and dirty way of doing it. If you're just trying to get a render, if you want clean topology or clean UV maps, you're going to have to go ahead and, and work through the process of retopologizing and making sure that you cut proper seams. For this method though, let's assume that you've already done that or that you just need quick UV maps uh, so that you can get this method working as soon as possible. So what we're going to do is if I turn on my polygroups, you can see here that I have different polygroups on the same subtool. Hit solo, the one subtool, and I have different groups here. What I'm going to be doing is using these polygroups to create a decent UV map. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Z plugin and down to, U, uh, to UV master, which I already have here on the left hand side. And I'm going to zoom in. And what we're going to do is we're going to click this button called polygroups. If, by default, this is actually turned off. So we want to make sure that we turn this on. From here, we're going to go ahead and click unwrap. Now, notice that if you click unwrap and you have high subdivision levels, it's actually going to give you a warning saying that you need to take your subtool and lower it to the smallest subdivision level. So we're going to go ahead and come over to geometry and lower this down to subdivision one. Notice I'm not deleting this. We don't need to delete our subdivision levels. We just need to keep to the lowest subdivision level. We'll come back over to UV master and we're going to go ahead and click unwrap. Give it a second. Now it is unwrapped. I do suggest that if you have a very high detailed model that you actually click work on clone. So that way, if something happens, you have, you have a backup that you're working with. Now that we have our UVs, what we're going to be doing is we're going to come over to our right panel and we're going to come all the way down to texture map. And from here, we're now going to get some options. The very first thing you want to do is click new from polypaint. What this will do is actually take all of the color and map it to the UV. From here, we'll go ahead and we'll increase our subdivision by either clicking D on the keyboard a bunch of times to get us to the top, or you just come to the top slider and increase it back to the highest subdivision level. That's it. That is all we need to do from here. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to Z plugin. We're going to go to FBX export import. We're going to click visible to make sure all the subtools that we want are visible. And then we're going to go ahead and hit export. So let's do that now. OK, guys, now that we have all of our uh, UV maps cut and we exported out our FBX file, we're now in Blender. And as you can see, I have a very basic scene that we're going to be exporting this in. So we're going to come into Blender. We're going to go to File, Import, and we're going to go FBX. From here, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we find our file, which for me is this one right here. And we're going to say Import. This might take a second, depending on the size of your file. OK. So that took a little bit of time and also it came in really small. So I had to make sure to scale it up. So make sure you set your scale accordingly. But now we have our scene in Blender and without doing anything else, I'm going to go ahead and hold down Z, come up to render, 
And you can already see, if I zoom in, that our model now has poly paint brought over. Even the little bits on the sword in the back, which has some poly paint right there, all the colors are here. And if we want to go ahead and double check to make sure everything is proper, I want you to come up to the shading tab at the very top and click your model. And now what you will notice is not only do you have a material attached with your normal map, I'm gonna lift this up just a little bit, but you also have a texture map that is attached to the base color. This is an easy way to do this, so that way you can bring your model from ZBrush into Blender without having to do any type of file adjustments. You don't have to bring any, any other type of uh, files from old ZBrush over. This works with the current version of ZBrush 2021.1.2, and the newest version of Blender. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please in the comment section down below, comment your question and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And hopefully this was informative as uh, I found this to be a little bit of a struggle, but with a little bit of research, I figured out that this was a really easy thing to do and I wanted to share it with you guys. So anyway, thank you so much for checking out. Also too, I have a Twitch channel. So down in the description, I have links to all of my Instagram, Twitter, ArtStation, and uh, Twitch channel. If you want to come hang out with me, I stream Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to noon uh, specific standard time. I'm in the LA area. But yeah, again, hopefully this is helpful and I want you all to have a great day. Happy sculpting and I'll talk to you later.